managing for two years for us. She was with her mother, Patricia McGraw. She goes to pursue a degree in education, specifically in psychology. She's taken four AP classes here, and some of her favorite memories are playing apples to apples with the coaches' staff. Our next senior manager is Megan Hamlin. She's managed for four years and is coming out with her mother, Paula Hamlin. She'll be attending IUS, majoring in criminology. She's an AP and honor student. And she says that Coach Strzok doesn't cheat at apples to apples, but Coach Harper does. She wishes that Dorica still managed. Our next senior manager, Nicole Patterson, has been with us for four years. She is coming out with Lisa and Tony Patterson. She'll be attending the University of Louisville to become an RN. She has straight A's currently and a GPA of 3.6. We're very proud of that. She has the dream that one day the managers might win at Apples to Apples. That's what she wrote. Next up, we have senior Brandon Brown. Brandon has been for five years. He started in the Valley. He's traveled to both New Zealand and Australia with Team Indiana, as well as Iowa for the Nationals. He's a folk style state medalist who will most likely attend University of Southern Indiana to pursue a major in nursing. He loves everyone on the team. He says, I'm always here for you, man. His favorite Jeff Reston moment had to be working out with the other varsity guys, even on days that they did not have to be there. And something big must have happened to McDonald's, because he wants to say that that was a fun moment. Thank you, Brandon Brown. Our next senior, Brent Browner. He's coming out with his mother, Tracy Brown Browner, and father, Daryl Gaines. Brent received third at Freestyle State, and Greg, second at Greco State multiple times. He received fifth at Freestyle State. He's re received multiple medals at all of the state meets. He's been the Capital City Classic Champion. He was All-Conference Honorable Mention twice. He's planning on wrestling in college. He says he's going to miss his team more than anything when he leaves. He considers all of you his family. He would also like to thank the coaches and his close supporters, especially the Shrimps and the Shepherds. <laughs> Next up, we have Luke Castillo. Luke's dressed for one year. He's coming out with his aunt and uncle, Lisa Zupanza and Richard Zupanza. He has a career record with 17 wins. He also has a fastest sprint of 26 seconds. He would like to go study to be a chiropractor. And he was on an A&B honor roll his first semester here. He was inspired to run wrestling by his cousin and encouraged by his aunt. Wrestling helps him blow off a lot of steam when needed. Elijah Kirkland. He's wrestling now for five years. He's coming out with his mother, Sue Ellen Kirkley, and his brother, Jeremiah Kirkley. He's a senior with a 3.8 GPA. He's a two-time Redco State champ, a two-time Hoosier Hills Conference champ. He pinned his way to the Conference Championship two years in a row. He's a sectional champ, a regional champ. He's currently ranked in the top 16 in the state. He's a two-time team in the Indiana member. He hopes to go to college to wrestle. And his favorite quote is Carpe Diem, to seize the day. Thank you, Elijah Kirk. <laughs> Next up, we have seen Will Hanna, accompanied by Bill and Nancy Hanna. He's been with the team for four years. He plans to attend Ball State University and study film and telecommunications. And those of you that are watching this tonight can tune in tomorrow night on Channel 25 to watch Will's broadcast of this meet tomorrow night. The National, he's a member of the National Honor Society, 
And some of his favorite memories are going to stay with Jimmy, Renato, and Alonzo, seeing Renato race in the finals, filming on the floor at Seiko. And he wants to thank everyone for allowing him to be a part of the team, work out with the team, and be a part of this amazing family over four years. Our next senior, Jeff Hooker. Jeff has 10 wins this year in his first year of wrestling, and he's coming out with Jeff and Jen, Jeff Hooker and Jennifer Anderson. He has a 14-second pin. He plans to wrestle in college. He has said wrestling has made him a stronger and better person, and he gained a second family. Next out is senior Brandon Marlin. Brandon has wrestled for nine years, and he's been accompanied by Mike and Angie Higdon. He has a senior season record of 33 and five, in 2010, he was one of the Rookie of the Year, and he received 20, the 2010 Conference Honorable Mention. He's a 2010 Sectional Champ, Semi-State Qualifier, and, and Regional Champ. In 2011, he was all Conference Honorable Mention, Sectional Champ, Regional Champ, and a Semi-State Qualifier. He's the 2012 Madison Cup Classic Champion, 2012 Conference Champion, and this year's Team Captain. He has a goal of becoming an Army Ranger and serving his country. His inspiration is our coach Reinhardt. His favorite moment is getting named team captain and all the team behind him. And he tells the other wrestlers in the crowd, don't stop, never stop going hard after what you want. Don't hold back and don't let anyone in your way. Thank you, Brandon Marlin. Our next senior, Deshaun Kendrick, wrestled for two years. He has parents Melanie Jackson and Keith Jones. He has a record in this year of 9 and 5. He's very proud of his successful auto mechanic classes and his senior comp accomplishment of pinning someone in under a minute. He has future plans of becoming and owning his own auto mechanics shop. Wrestling has helped me stay healthy and out of trouble my senior year. Next up, Nick Cairo. Nick has wrestled for five years. He's accompanied by one of our coaches, Mark Cairo, and his mother is Elaine Cairo. This season, he is 25 and three. He has won six tournaments this year, and he has a quickest pin of eight seconds at the Columbus East Main. Most of his wins have been by pin this year. He would like to attend U of L and study dentistry, and go to grad school. He wants to continue his walk with Christ to become a better Christian. Academic accomplishments are academic honors, National Honor Society, academic all state in soccer. My inspiration and my hero is my father. I wrestle for God because he gave me the talent to do what I do every day. Keep up the good work and stay smart. Don't be wrong. Next senior is Lucas Mays. Lucas comes out with Richard and Robin Mays. Richard's, or Lucas's biggest moment was his very first win where he gained a pin in under 40 seconds. His favorite part was wrestling at the Meade County Tournament, his very first year of wrestling. He'll be attending the University of Louisville in their pre-med program and attending the medical school to become a pediatrician. He has a 4.75 in his IQ classes he is ranked sixth in his class. He's the Fellowship of Christian Athletes president. He is also a member of the National Honor Society. Next up, we have senior conference champion, Jordan Shin. Jordan has wrestled for 10 years. Jordan was in the very first wrestling camp I ever put on when I moved here. His parents, James and Nancy Shirt, come out with him. He has 30 wins in his senior season with 15 pins. He has traveled to Japan and Mongolia as a part of Team Indiana to wrestle. He's a two-time national team member for folk style. He's a Greco State runner-up. He's also traveled with Team Indiana to the world's biggest tournament in Fargo, North Dakota. He was seated fourth this past weekend but ended up the conference champion, winning in the finals by pin. He's a team captain. 
and he would like to go wrestle at a military institute or earn a degree in nursing or education. He's been a member of five eight classes here at Jeff High, and his favorite memory is his first win in folk style. He'd like to thank everyone who supported him, especially his Nana and Papa, without whom I would never have gotten so far. Next up is another senior conference champion, Alonzo Shepard. Alonzo has wrestled for 10 years and started in that very first camp that Jordan did, but he broke his arm and we didn't see him for one more year. Alonzo and Jordan started off in very close career paths. And Alonzo tonight is tied with the school career win record of 173 wins. Alonzo tonight, 174 career wins and being the top 20 in the state all time. He's an All-American. He's a academic All-Stater. He's a two-time state qualifier. He placed eighth in the state last year. He's a Greco-Roman state champion, a three-time Hoosier Hills Conference champion, three-time sectional champ, three-time regional champ, three-time semi-state qualifier, two-time Jeff Classic champ, and a multiple-time ISWA state medalist. He's an eight-time national team member. He'll be attending Indiana University this fall to wrestle while obtaining a degree in biology, planning on going to med school. He's ranked 10th out of 483 in this class. He's a member of the National Honor Society and will be a member of uh, the, the All-State team again this year. He would like to thank the coaches for pushing me, his parents for supporting me, and his teammates for training with me. I wouldn't be here without him. And he'd like to tell Coach Maddox if he's here tonight that he hits like a woman. <laughs> Alonzo is trying to set a new school record tonight. Good luck, Alonzo. Thompson and Dana Reeds will be accompanying him. He has a senior career, senior record of 24 and 3. He has a, currently holds the record for the fastest heavyweight pin in the state this year with a 13 second pin over uh, Trinity. He plans to try to go to the Air Force and wrestle. And he says wrestling is helping in life a lot. He doesn't know where he would be without it. Wrestling is hard but it prepares you for anything in life. I know we've got a lot of seniors, but that's a good problem to have. We're about through these. Next up, we have senior David Webster. He's coming out now as Mark Lucille. David has a senior record of 19 and three and has wrestled for the past three years. He plans on going to the Navy to serve his country after this. This season, he has placed second at the Old Capitol Classic. And we want to wish David luck on his journey to the Navy. Thank you for serving us, David. Last but not least, Robert Wagner. Robert has wrestled with us for the past five years and is being accompanied by his mother, Angela. His best memory is his fast pins and making the team and coaches happy. His future plans are to try to move to Pennsylvania and bring honor to the Wagner name. He's been happy that he's had perfect attendance before. He's been on the AB honor roll before, and he says to the guys on the team, make your fire shine bright and high, soar like the blazing Phoenix. 